Hello and welcome to my first tutorial in Laravel. Today's tutorial is going to be on the Steam authentication. So I, I've already got a project set up so, um, completely new from scratch. So let's run through it. So the Steam authentication we're going to be using is this one here. On GitHub, the link for this will be in the description. I have this video on it and I have this Stack Overflow on it. So depending on what you want to watch, what you want, which way you prefer, the links will be in the description for everything. So let's first leave it on here. So it's just a complete clean update, and the database for it is clean as well. So the first thing we'll want, we're going to want to do is change the database name so it matches this with Steam. to composer.json and here we're going to want to add in this this line to your composer.json so if I save it go to your bash and type in sorry <laughs> type in steam and then name it and then I'll be back once that is done okay so as you can see it has been installed here that shows that it's installed. So the next thing we're gonna, gonna do, we're gonna wanna do is go to config app, and inside of here we're gonna wanna paste in this line here as a provider. So I'm gonna scroll down so it says providers, and on the bottom section of this, paste in that. And once that's done, you wanna gonna go back to to your bash and type in PHP artisan vendor. Once that's done, it'll create a conf inside of config which is Steam or so. Once that's done, we're going to want to go to config steam .php. And once you're in here, you've got the redirect which redirects the URL once you have logged in through Steam. Uh, so after this, it'll add in a load of code with all the information in it. And but first, we're going to get an API key, otherwise, this just won't work at all. So we're going to go to steam api.key.dev and then here you have to add in the domain name so my steam.dev I agree register and you get your API key here and you want to paste that in you don't want to share this out to anyone so you can paste that in there and save that so after this what we're going to want to do is make a new controller so I'm going to go to php Controller, so I'm going to go app, HTTP, controllers, or controller, and instead of here, you want to delete everything except from the opening PHP tags. Go back to the git, sorry, go back to the git, re git repo, and here you want to copy all of this and paste that in. So now that's right, and you save that, and we don't need that for now. But one thing we're going to need to do is go to the roots of all this. We're going to go to app, HTTP. The roots and in here we're going to do a root and let me get it and it will be we'll name this steam login and then that will go to the function of all that there is right so what also we're going to need to do is in the roots for it is go to the steam documentation scroll down until it says routing or routing sorry copy that and paste it in below here and we're just going to change the auth one to just be log out so it's just a simple log out you type into the URL but see here we're on the route for the steam login so I'll just So this here, I want to copy this and go back to the Steam auth and paste it in here. So this and this have to be exact. Shit, have to be exactly the same. No matter what, it just there cannot be any difference to 
how it looks. So, but the main lines we're looking at is them two, and on this one, the main line we're going to look at is that one. And on here, it's not in. But what we're going to need to do now is actually add in this authentication. So it saves the databases and adding all of these to where they were, where it's going to save, which is what it doesn't say inside of the repo information inside of here. So what you're going to do is go to app HTTP controllers auth and inside of the auth controller is control D. So copy that one and change that to username and here to username control D again for Steam ID and here again Steam ID and control D again and add one that says avatar and here again so avatar. save that so now you've done on that you want to go out of that folder because it's a file because we don't need that anymore and we want to go to app and users.php and in here and underneath protected fillable we want to add in the user steam id and avatar so i'll do that right now so username, steam id Now they're in there, so that's all done for the app folder. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go to databases, migrations, user table, and inside of here, press Control D and change this one to Steam ID and Control D on the name one. Change that to username. So it goes username Control D again. And change this one. Say avatar and save that again. So now that is all done. So, what we're going to want to do is go back to GIF, go back to your bash, sorry, and type in PHP. PHP. So, now if we go to PHP my admin, refresh this, we have the user table which inside. The structure, see, we've got the username, the avatar, and the Steam ID. And each one, the Steam ID will be different. So now, what we want to do is set up the links so it works and make it so it'll print out our username, image, and avatar. So I'll show you how you can use them too. So in the field, we want to make a if or check. So the first thing we want to do is we'll print out the image. We'll print out the avatar. So we're gonna get that search for it. And we're gonna auth user. And here we want to take an avatar. And then below we'll type we'll have the username. So same again where it's auth user. And here we want to just type in user and control D and change this to say Steam ID. Steam ID and save. And then below we'll create a link for intro to log out. And just name it log out in capitals. And else we want to create one that says okay so we'll do a login intro to steam login and log into steam if we save that and sorry no refresh this here so we've got login to steam if we click login and sign in here on Steam. It takes a minute first. 
and the real, real send in so that our username, our Steam ID, and our picture. And then if we click log out, we're logged out. And if we go to the database, browse, here is all our information Steam ID, avatar, sorry, username, Steam ID, and the avatar link. And just show it again. It won't create any user when you log in. So just log in. And it will log us in. So there we go. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. I will have more videos out if you have any questions on how to do it. I will answer them in the comment section below or contact me via email, which will be in the description. And I will also have a link to my Stack Overflow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.